Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Putz Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Putz Ponds. I'm going to give you a little project update here in Gross Point, Michigan. There is a formal pond that we were brought in. We wanted to keep it as a formal pond, keep it original to the house. There was a feature on the pond that nobody knows what it looked like. There's no pictures or documentations to what that feature that was on the pond actually looked like. So we, we kind of improvised. The pond had no filtration whatsoever. We knew that we had to get filtration, but we also knew that we had to replace um, the feature, the water feature, the actual movement feature on this pond. And uh, we talked to the homeowners about three years ago, and we, you know what? Let's go over to the pond. Let's let me show you what we did. All right, so this is a very formal pond. It's a concrete pond. It's been here since the early 20s. And this cutout area had a really, I'm imagining had a really tall water feature on it. Maybe it was a spitter, maybe it was a bronze piece that was here, maybe it was just a concrete um, spillover that came into the pond. Not having any pictures or documentations of it, we came up with putting an aquascape spillway bowl in. Now, in the spillway bowl, now here's some pictures right here of how we set it up. So I'm not going to go into a long drawn out um, how we set it up. The first year we did aquatic plants, here's a picture of it right here. And water was clear, it was great. Now this is approximately five feet deep. You can't tell now, the water is very cloudy. It has been cleaned out, it's been rinsed out. We've gone through trial and error um, last year, not the first year, the first year was great. Um, second year, because there was no gravel at the bottom, the koi that are in here were stirring up a lot of the sediment at the bottom and causing it to be discolored water. We tried flocculant uh, to get it to settle down. It would work for a couple of days, but then the fish would swim back and forth and stir it up all up again start clogging up the filter. So what do we do? We drained out this filter here. Here's a picture of how much sludge was built up in the bottom of that filter just over a couple months. Um, we're gonna come up with something different. So we've got a backdrop of arborvitaes here. What we're gonna do, and I'll do a follow-up to this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a pressurized filter in the back over here. We're gonna use that pressurized filter with an external, with a pump that's down in the pond. This will become just decorative. We're gonna do an, a pressurized filter behind these shrubs over here, and then lead a pipe inconspicuously underground, and then it will discharge back into the pond right behind the spillway bowl. By doing that, my hopes are that we can trap a lot of those sediments that are in the pond and doesn't give our customer um, cloudy water. Check back with us. And I'm gonna install this next week. We'll, so two, two videos from now, we'll have an update on how this one actually went. Thanks for watching. Just a quick short video showing you that filtration is very much needed on ponds. An ecosystem pond, very easy to do. So ponds like these that don't have a biological filter or waterfall box, a skimmer on one end to catch all the floating debris everything sinks down to the bottom that's food for algae you know that so what we have to do is we have to implement different strategies on how to manage this water quality not only for us give us peace of mind but also for our our client so sometimes we just have to improvise once we improvise trial and error we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll post our results thanks for watching if you have any comments leave them below Make it a great day.